Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, we will be discussing the iPhone SE. Uh, so yeah, actually, I think about three, a few days ago, I did a iPhone SE impressions there. I talked about the specs and the pricing of the phone. So go check that out if you're curious, like what hardware, phone runs, software, price, whatnot. Go to that video. Yeah, and then it should be right here, or here, at the end of this video. I will also link it in the description. But just if you're curious, you might already know, because I'm sure I'm not the only tech YouTuber that you watch. You probably watch other ones who are a lot bigger than me. But I will be discussing if the iPhone SE is worth the price. So I'm not going to talk about, like, the specs battery whatnot i will a little bit but not as much in depth as i did last time so yeah if you're curious watch that video or just google the specs look at someone else's video there's a lot of videos out there okay so as you guys might know well probably know if you click on this video this is a 400 dollar iphone new new 400 dollar iphone which isn't Expensive compared to the other ones, but it's not exactly cheap either um, What so yes, I personally I Want to get into that design. I personally don't like I Know like there's many people saying Like it's so cheap. I don't think I said that in my video um but no, $400 is not cheap. And Lou from Unbox Therapy made a tweet I just recently, which I really liked. Well, that was interesting. What if Samsung Galaxy S7? Like, what if Samsung suddenly released the S7 with a Snapdragon 865? That's the newest processor all the features of that processor inside of a phone from 2016. Let's be honest, nobody would buy that because Samsung, Xiaomi, Huawei, LG, OnePlus, um, they all have competition at that price. But Apple, they can just release a phone without even trying from, no, not even 2016, from 2014, the iPhone 6. They re-released the iPhone, well, technically this is an iPhone 8, but pretty much the iPhone 8 is the same thing as a 6. They released that, put in a new processor, and yes, it is a fast processor, but it's not this, um, yeah, it it's not worth, I, I think selling new, uh, I just realized I pretty much said everything that I want to say and we're only like three minutes in, but pretty much the point I'm trying to get across is what if another company did this, an Android manufacturer did this, nothing would sell and the iPhone SE is flying off shelves. You can look at the Apple analytics all you want, the numbers are true. They are flying off shelves for a $400 price, and yes, $400 is cheaper than $700, $1,000, or $1,100 for the other models. But it's just, I, I'm i kind of surprised that they've gotten away with this. Again, this is the same company that sells $700 wheels for their $65,000 desktop with a $1,000 stand and a $5,000 monitor to go with that. So, this is an expensive company, yes, I get that, but I'm just, I'm generally surprised that people, like, they're actually buying this, because for half the price you can get an iPhone 8, which is the same thing, people will argue, well, no, it's the A13 Bionic, which is faster than the A11 Bionic and the 8, but you, you won't tell, right now you won't tell a difference, but people will say, oh yeah, well in five years you'll be able to tell the difference. Nobody keeps their phone for five years. 
let, let's just be honest, there's not one, well, okay, there's maybe one person. One percent of people keep their phone for five years. So, if you get an iPhone 8, it will still last you one to two, two and a half to three years. If you can keep your phone for that long, but yeah, it will last you. I'd say the iPhone SE. Really, there's people... Apple says, oh, well, yeah, if you don't want to give up your design, just buy our new SE with the A11 processor. I get something in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, I think I, like, got dust in my mouth or whatever as I'm going on my rant with the iPhone SE. So, should you buy this phone? Personally, I don't think so. Yeah, a lot of people have a $400 budget. And they don't want to go to Android phone because they're already locked inside the ecosystem. What would I recommend then? Well, the iPhone X is about $400. Um, the iPhone XR, I believe, is around $400. Yes, it's $600 on Apple's website, but you can get it new on like Amazon and Newegg for around $400. So don't let that confuse you. So yeah, I'd say um, I wouldn't recommend this phone. I know millions upon millions are still buying this phone, and I'm sure Apple is getting so much profit from selling a phone from 2014. But just, okay, okay. This is what I asked, just picture this. Samsung releasing the S7 and putting in Snapdragon 865 and selling it for $400, just, Imagine what would happen, like, everybody would be like, nobody would buy it, there'd probably be article after article saying how horrible this is, all these people would be making YouTube videos, but instead, Apple does the same thing, and now everyone is saying how amazing this deal is. I, I'm, I can't say I'm surprised, even though I kind of am, because Apple... They're, they make a problem and then pay for the solution. They create a problem and charge you for the solution. That, that's pretty much what they did with the headphone jack. Uh, that's what they're doing with this phone. They're saying, oh yeah, well we have premium phones. You just have to spend 1,000 plus US dollars. And uh, someone I know, he just bought the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And he said it costed him six hundred dollars Canadian. Oh, uh, sorry, it's twenty six hundred dollars Canadian, which is crazy. Like that's not that far off from like high end um, computer territory, honestly. So, yeah, Apple charges crazy prices, and. People say, well, yeah, Apple charges crazy prices, but they have a cheap solution. The iPhone XR is not cheap. For around $400, you can get the... Well, actually, this isn't released but yet, but, like, you can get a Pocophone F2 with a higher resolution, mind you, than the iPhone uh, SE 2020. You, you 120 hertz, a better screen-to-body ratio... Also, most $400 Android phones have headphone jacks. This doesn't. Not only does this not have a headphone jack, it's not included in the box. So that's going to cost you, what, $19.99? Uh, okay, so that's 20 bucks on top of the whatever it is, uh, 400 well, more than that if you buy it in Canada. Um, I think it's like $620, $630. So let's say $20 and then, oh wait, it comes with a 5 watt charging brick. Oh, that's going to take a whole day to charge up your phone. So you'll just have to put it on the charger, wait 24 hours, unplug it, then it will be charged for you. So, oh, but no, Apple says a solution for that, right? So all you need to do is buy the um, Apple Fast Charger for about $100. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So the lightning cord 
is just USB-A 1.0. That's slow. Oh, but I think there's a solution for $80 Canadian. It's crazy. So, okay, so you buy that, and then suddenly, oh wait, no, you want to listen to wireless, so you buy, say, AirPods for... The pros are 350 Canadian. I don't know how much the standard ones are. I know in the US, so let's say you buy 128 gigs, so that's 400. Um, let's, how much is it American for the. It's like. I don't know. Let's say $120 for the charger. You buy $20 for the headphone connector. Um, spend, that's 50 bucks for a case, you buy, wait, what, you faster charger, you just buy all these things, oh wait, wireless, that doesn't come in the box though, so you'll have to buy that, so all these things can add up to be really expensive if the phone isn't already. There's other phones like Xiaomi... OnePlus Pixel is releasing their new Pixel 4a, which I'm sure is going to be amazing. The Pixel 3a already has a really good display. It has a really good camera. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of gaming phones out there from Black Shark. The Razer Phone 2, I think, that might even be less than $400 now. Uh, that's 124, that's 120 hertz, 1440p, with a huge battery, a large display as well. So for $400, why couldn't Apple just keep the body, use Face ID? They, there's options, like, it's not, uh, a phone, like, I know, like, there's phones for, like, $200 out there that are missing so many features and you can just say well they had to cut so much in price but this isn't a cheap phone it, i'm not saying it's a premium phone it is a mid-range phone but it doesn't have the features imagine okay okay let's just say samsung or xiaomi huawei oneplus google whatever they release a phone with a 4.7 inch display with a, um, with a top bezel and a chin, Re like, okay, um, fingerprint scanner, no face ID, 60 hertz, really bad battery life, really slow charging, um, and they charge $400 for it, no headphone jack, Imagine how that would sell, and then suddenly you slap that logo on it, and it's selling millions. So, that's just... I'm not surprised, but I still think it is insane. So... Yeah, I mean... I'm not, like... Saying go to Android, because iOS is still... There's pros for iOS. But I just think... As someone who uses both, I just think, not so much that iOS is bad, it's just this phone is, I mean, for half the, literally half the price, you get the iPhone 8, which is the same thing as this phone for half the price. Um, yeah, it might be refurbished, it might be used, but there's still new ones out there that like phone carriers have and they're selling for cheap. Um, yeah, I don't want this video to go on too long, so I'm just going to wrap it up. Yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and until the next video, one more thing. Okay, so battery life, someone asked me, actually someone texted me, hey, how's the iPhone SE battery life? Is it better than the iPhone 8? And no, it's actually, I know in the last video I said it's about the same, 
But no, it's worse than the iPhone 8 in some situations. Let me explain. So if you are doing a intensive task, like say rendering a 4K video or gaming, the A13 is a powerful chipset. I'm not trying to pretend like it's not. No, it is very powerful. So if you just put that thing to the max when you're gaming, it is more powerful than the A11 on like full max power. So it's going to pull a lot of power, which means that small 1800 milliamp hour battery is going to go fast. Um, Dave 2D made a video and he said while he was gaming, he was draining 1% every minute. So after like an hour and 40 minutes, it's gone. I'm sure most of you use your phone a lot more than an hour and 40 minutes every day. So, yeah, and so you get home, it's dead. So great, you just gr grab your 5 watt brick and you have to wait another day for it to charge. Oh, uh, which is crazy. My throat actually hurts. So, <coughs> ow. Alright, peace out. Like, subscribe.